Hello, Curiosity Kids. This is Linda, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Do you know what liquids are? Let's go explore. Liquids are strange. They splash, drip, ripple, and flow. But why? Let's look at three properties that determine how liquids move. The first property explains why some liquids mix and some liquids don't mix. Molecules are the tiny particles that make up a liquid. Polar molecules have two sides, one positive and one negative. Nonpolar molecules don't have positive or negative sides at all. Polar molecules are attracted to each other and mix easily. Nonpolar molecules repel or push away from polar molecules. Polar and nonpolar molecules don't mix. Scientists call this repelling and attracting polarity. The second property explains why things sink or float. It all depends on how closely packed the tiny molecules are within a given space. Scientists call this density. If a liquid has high density, it means there are lots of tiny molecules packed tightly together in the liquid. If a liquid has low density, it means that there is space between the tiny molecules in the liquid. The third property is viscosity. Viscosity is how easily the tiny molecules in a liquid flow past each other. Sometimes the molecules rub against each other, causing the liquid to flow slowly. This is called high viscosity. Sometimes the molecules slip right past each other, causing the liquid to flow quickly. This is called low viscosity. Let's mix some liquids and see what happens. I'm using syrup, oil, and vinegar. Let's look at their viscosity. Vinegar flows quickly. It has low viscosity. Oil flows but not as quickly as the vinegar. It has more viscosity than the vinegar. Syrup flows very slowly compared to the other two liquids. It has high viscosity. If I dribble some syrup in my water, what happens? Will it sink or float? It sank to the bottom. The syrup has a higher density than the water. Now, let's add some oil. Will the oil sink or float? Oil has a lower density than the water, so it floats. When I add vinegar, do you think it will sink or float? Wow! It completely mixed with the water. It didn't sink or float. Vinegar has the same density as the water. However, vinegar and water are both polar, so they mixed quickly. Let's test the polarity of oil and syrup. Let me stir the liquids in my cup. What changed? Red and blue mix to turn the water purple. That's because the syrup and water are both polar. But the oil, it wants nothing to do with the water. Oil won't mix with water in any way. Why is that? Water is polar and oil is nonpolar. Their polarity is different, so they don't mix. If you want to determine polarity, density, and viscosity with liquids at home, 
just head to the museum website at statemuseumpa.org and look for our virtual learning page to find a list of materials and instructions. Join me again next time to explore something else I'm curious about. Thanks for tuning in.